44 and needs a little little love so we'll pop the loader off here if I remember how it's been probably 10 years since I took this off so yeah the old 44 is uh, look kind of naked thought her loader on her but uh, you know there's antifreeze I don't know where exactly it's coming from but uh, it's leaking so and I don't know if you can see that dampener under there but I'm gonna give her a little rinse off some pretty corn here it's had the plain spread some urea so now with all the rain that we've had we actually need a rain so it probably won't rain some of this is compaction too but uh, it's just been too wet can't get to the nitrogen so trying to trying to help it I don't know maybe a waste of money that's well, not a quite got her done I thought they did that off the files Oh, this project was so much fun I'm gonna do it all over again preventative maintenance I figured since I had the radiator off I would take the water pump off and have it rebuilt <sighs> third time of draining the antifreeze because I thought it was this pipe because it was just running out of there and I could see that it was wet up on top of here so which the o-ring was new but the pipe was old and it had a little bit of a bend in it so I thought well it's got it's got to be the pipe and it's just running down so $59 from John Deere it's just a it's just a pipe it's, you can see my hand how big it is like yeah 59 something but anyways put the pipe on Put it back together, fill it full of antifreeze. Running out of the center of it, so obviously a bad seal or something got damaged putting it together. I don't know. I took it to John Deere to have them do it, and they had a really good tech working on it, so I'm gonna say it's faulty parts because he's done thousands of them things. I know he has, so. A little disheartening but uh, yeah I didn't want to take the water pump off with the radiator on but uh, I might end up having to do it anyways because I really don't want to take this back out again so after a grueling battle with uh, putting the radiator in that the radiator wasn't bad it was the water pump that was a disaster uh, the floor back on it. So. You think you want to do that job? No. Be a little sketchy, I think. Got a rust problem or what? Ugh. Rust, salt, it's fun. Things I get into. No, oh, it's hard to do. Fungicide, insecticide, and some beans. Definitely doing some damage with the bigger tires, but we're making her work. Took the duels off, but now it's not all that stable. Three weeks ago, 
weeks ago with Liberty, so you can see my track's pretty good. Come on, baby. Catch up. See ya. Most beans look or these are probably some of the better looking beans around the area. The spots that I had to plant later though, they full of weeds and short. So I gotta get out and get them sprayed. It's not gonna be a perfect year. Got a lot of beans that don't look this good, so got to do a video in the, in the good ones, you know, right? Because uh, there's nothing like this around, you know. Oh wait, it's like half the crop. Full of water hemp. Even though it was just sprayed three weeks ago or whatever. Well, I sprayed these replants with Liberty with the four-wheeler the other day. <coughs> really yellowed them up, but Some of them water hemp don't look 100% gone either, so. Oh well, huh? Some pheasants flying around. It's nice to see. But there is some good beans out in this field, so. Hard to say if they'll do good or not. Oh, they look I, where they're good. They're really, really good. It's just we got this stuff. It's not very good. Looks like I should have made it all the way over here and sprayed. I got a bunch of water now. That's nice. Anyhow, pretty nice in spots. So, how much of this is gonna is it gonna take to make up for that stuff? I guess that's the biggest question. So, don't know. I guess we'll find out. Well, this field was planted, I believe, on the 25th of uh, April. <laughs> And they really don't have the rose shaded in, so obviously that doesn't uh, doesn't equate to yield. So I think the the nodes are pretty close together on these. So I don't know. I just find it interesting that other field that I showed you they were uh, they were planted for sure two weeks if not longer after these so I don't know if anybody knows uh, anything about these but the flashers on this 4960 do not work two years ago I replaced the fuse panel because there was one side that wasn't working and it was the fuse like where the fuse attaches it was rotted out so that is not the problem. I know it's not because it's new. Um, I replaced the switch and I replaced the turn signal thing up here, but the flashers do not work at all. I can turn them on, nothing. But when I turn them on, these indicators come on. So that's telling me there's power somehow going to that, whatever. So I thought, well, maybe it's something in that. So I had that, took the tack out, sent that off, and they found nothing wrong with it. Apparently. So I don't know. I'm still wondering if it's something to do with inside that tack there or what other electrical 
gremlin I got going on here, but it's uh, not safe when you don't have uh, turn signals. You know, it's not because I started up to show you, it's not because of that. Still won't work. No turn signals. Nothing on the dash, nothing outside. So, the lights work. So, I don't know. I'm uh, stumped. Um, I really, really don't want to replace that because it's going to screw up my hours, obviously. And then uh, that tack from John Deere is like $3,000. So, but I want to make sure that that for sure is the problem before I spend the $3,000. So, anyways, if anybody's got any ideas. I can't seem to find any information, and everybody says it's in that fuse panel. Well, I've been there, done that, and that's not the problem. <laughs>